reach the entire world. The Bible describes a future government of the world. And in this government, the leaders will be unseen, they'll be in heaven, and their influence is going to extend down to this earth. It's going to be a universal dominion. Even victory over death itself being achieved by resurrecting all the men who have ever lived and teaching them God's laws. And the Bible illustrates this government by the shape of a pyramid with Jesus as the capstone. The prophet Zechariah speaks of the top stone, David of a headstone, and then Jesus speaks of himself as the rejected stone that will become the head or the chief cornerstone. The apostle Paul describes a government of the world in his letter to the Ephesians, in which the whole creation will find their one head in Christ, both things in heaven and things in earth. If there is one thing that has united the human race down through history, it is the tragedy of suffering and death. And if there is a second thing, it is the universal hope of a better day. This hope was not merely a human imagination. No, it was encouraged by our Creator in various ways as the Bible unfolded. And I believe it was etched in stone when God inspired the builders of the Great Pyramid. Poets, philosophers, and prophets have long expressed the profound desire of the human soul for peace and brotherhood, harmony with God, and an end to death. Now, the Great Pyramid, which to the casual observer symbolized the shape of the ancient past, becomes something else under the Bible's light. It becomes the shape of things to come. After 4,000 years, the Great Pyramid has lost little of its ancient wonder. A city was built with its casing stones. The city fell. But the pyramid has survived. Earthquakes shook the foundations, but the pyramid survived. Conflicting theories continue to swirl around the Great Pyramid like sandstorms in the desert. However, man has now been given the key that unlocks the pyramid's mystery. This key is the same mathematical language that enables us to measure the universe and unlock its secrets. The size of our world, its land area, its distance from the sun, its astronomical relationships, the timing of its journeys. Not until modern man had learned these facts from the measurements and proportions of our solar system could we read these same facts in the measurements and proportions of the Great Pyramid. Unfortunately, the newfound knowledge of 20th century man has also produced an attitude that scoffs at ancient wisdom. And so for many, the message of the Great Pyramid is hidden behind a door that has been unlocked by knowledge, but remains closed until an awakened interest challenges the theories of the past. To those who open that door, the Great Pyramid quietly reveals its message. Whoever built the Great Pyramid, it continues to display a degree of technology which is in many ways superior to that of our present industrial age, a fact that is a real challenge to the evolutionary theory of the steady progress of man. We stand in awe, humbled before the builders of the past. Material success only underscores our terrible failure to bring an end of suffering, poverty and distress to billions of our race. In our perplexed and troubled world, the Great Pyramid, man's oldest building, and the Bible, his oldest book, give evidence of a creator who knows our need, whose love and care transcend time and promise to touch the life of every man.